Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to the new video. And in this video, this is the problem longest path in directed acyclic graph. For sure, if you have not watched the lecture 21, go and watch it because if you have watched it, it's exactly, exactly, if not exactly same. Like it's 99.9999 percent same with that of the shortest path in directed acyclic graph. And if you have watched it, then please pause this video right here and see how if you know this let's say if you know this then with that how will you able to identify how to find the longest path same short long less more negative positive you know that's how you can simply solve it now for sure as you saw earlier in a shortest path in a directed recycling graph it can be solved via dijkstra's and many other algorithm but but provided it's a cyclic graph so i can use dijkstra's and stuff but for directed cyclic graph which means longest path for general graph this means if the graph is cyclic or so on and so forth it's a np hard problem so you won't be able to solve that in a fixed time complexity which means the lesser ones so if to solve this directed cyclic graph finding the longest path in a directed cyclic graph, I can solve that simply, very easily, very easily in O of n plus m as we have solved it, as I have spoken earlier. It is exactly the same as that of shortest path. You know, I know we solved this in O of v plus c time, in O of n plus m time, it's the same we can solve it. Now, when I am emphasizing more and more and more, please pause it and think how it can be solved the same, exactly same as that of short, shortest path one. And I have also given the hint earlier also. If you have thought, then actually we'll simply multiply the weights by minus one now if you multiply the weights by minus one so it the weights will become negative earlier two was small three was large now if i do a minus two and minus three now minus three is small and minus two is large so it will take an account this minus three as small then it will try to find this answer with this minus three although i know it was three which was large but i made it as minus three which was small that is how it can actually i will just multiply the weights by minus one just making the weights as different itself so that the weights which the large weight will become smaller and the small weight will become larger and then i will apply the same algorithm which is the shortest path in the cycle graph and ultimately when i have found the exact his senses to every node but i know that his senses are in negative because my weights were in negative so ultimately i'll again do and do a minus one to again get back the positive distances if you are confused let's look at the example itself as you know i have just transformed all the weights to negative now what happened with this is now this minus one is a higher weight and minus two is a lower weight although in actual terms two is a higher value and one is a lower value so i just wanted this minus two or this two to be used as more or like as first so i am because i wanted to find the longest distance and that is the reason i just converted that to a negative so that it will become the shorter distance and i will apply the shortest path algorithm now going back going backwards i simply apply the shortest path algorithm if you have seen earlier video please go and watch it it is a very simple apply and find a topological ordering and with that ordering go and relax the nodes or relax the edges how simply if I just have this minus 2 as the weight, minus 1 as the weight, minus 4 as the weight, minus 1 as the weight, minus 6 as the weight and minus 3 as the weight. Then what I will do is I simply find the distance to that node which is minus 2. Here the distance is minus 1. Here the distance is and see I am finding the minimum distance possible. Here the distance is minus 5. Again, you know, here by this, the distance will be minus 5. By this path, the distance will actually be a minus 3. But minus 3 is lesser than minus 5. Earlier, remember, here the distance was 3. But I am here putting minus 5 because it is a lesser distance. Now, I have, as I have lesser distance, cool, I will push in a minus 11. It is a lesser distance than actually giving a minus 6, which is a higher distance. Okay, cool. Now, I have got the minimum distances from node, from node 0 see again as i spoke earlier also in the last video source node can be anything whatsoever in the last video i took the source node exactly as zero but i spoke in that also that okay source node can be anything in this also source node can be anything but in this i will take the source node as my this node right here 
zero. Although you can you can just pass an argument as a source node, but here let's suppose the source node is zero itself. Now the way, now the distances you see are minus two, minus five, minus eleven, minus five, and minus one. You know, I know that the distances would never would never be this because the weights are actually positive. So simply converting these negative ones to actually positive ones so it will have a 2 5 11 5 and 1 now this is the largest path largest distance possible from the source node and that's how you can find the longest path in a directed acyclic graph exactly same as that of shortest path in a directed acyclic graph the problem is here and the exact exact same stuff exact same stuff is just that uh, earlier we were for unreachable nodes we're having minus one here we will have infinity just saying okay for the unreachable nodes put that as int minimum and it will just put this as infinity in your answer now just saying the same stuff here the code is exactly 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 same as we saw the previous code it's exactly exactly same exactly same code it's just that i know you know that we have just converted those weights to a negative weights. So here I was passing weights. I just converted that to a negative weight. Just a negative sign. Exactly same stuff happening. Finding the shortest path. Finding the shortest distances. When I am processing my final distances. When the distances are actually not reachable. Just here I was putting in a minus one earlier. But here I will just put in for the unreachable nodes. Put in the anti minimum. Because of that infinity thing which you saw above. Here. Right. And the ones which were having exact distance please convert that back to the negative ones because you know my distances are in negative so i just can need to convert that to positive simply multiply that again by minus one and we will simply get the actual distance which is actually the largest distance same time complexity same space exactly what we have seen above if you want to see the fresh code exactly same code here it's just that here i just put a negative and here i just changed that to this code exactly same code if you want to see the code is down below for the reference i hope that you guys got it it was that's just, i specifically spoke it is exactly same as that of short path in graph cool uh, thanks so much for watching bye bye